Jeff and Crystal in Fort Collins. Uh, they have been recording music together for the last 50 years uh, under the handle uh, Shane Flying Sun Tapes. And we're gonna get their story and uh, hear a little bit about their music today. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious, uh, would you tell us how you got started making music together? Well, we met uh, when we were 16 and we were both musicians. Crystal was a classical musician and I was jazz. And we decided that we would uh, try to mix the, mix the cultures together. And since then we've just been improvising and uh, making music together uh, in different formats. Uh, some with different people, but mainly with each other for, for that period of time. Back when we were really young, we did a lot of we did a lot of trucking around the country. Back when that was fashionable, we had a van, uh, we had our instruments, which was just a Fender Rhodes piano and a very small drum set. And we went to Oregon because we thought Oregon would be a, a great place to, to live. So when we were there one day, we were driving around and uh, our car broke down. And so we had to wind up hitchhiking back to town and a nice fellow stopped and picked us up and we started talking about our music and how we were a band and uh, we had a violin player in those days and we had we had uh, we had two violin two players violin. in that day in those days and he was interested in hearing our music so we took him back to our house and and played for him and uh, then he was just such a nice guy we needed a name for the band and his name was Shane and so we named it Shane. And then the, the Flying Sun Tapes? That was because we uh, put a little logo of a sun on, on all our cassette tapes. And so we decided to name it Flying Sun Tapes, which were, at that time, cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. Shane Flying Sun Tapes. That's and that's how, what that's we've how kept. That's started. That's what we've kept uh, all, these, all these years. We just decided to keep that name because has history and meaning for us. We're going to record a couple different pieces mm -hmm. uh, this morning in, in different styles. So tell us about the different setups that you have to record and get different effects with your music. Well, we have an acoustic setup in this room, which includes a grand piano and the bells, which we have brought into the room for this occasion, and some, some various drums and things. And then we have another room that has some electronic keyboards, electric piano, and some synthesizers, and various kinds of drums that didn't fit in this room. And we've uh, arranged them in this way, mostly because of economy of space. And what I thought I would do is create three different rooms that had different uh, keyboards in them. So there would be uh, variances in the, in the sound. But the one thing in common is the bells uh, in, all of, in all of the rooms. Yes, we sit down and we play. And <laughs> <laughs> we might have some kind of idea that we play ahead of time, but we've really focused on improvisation. So we try to improve on our improvising, if that makes sense. We start with an idea and we go with the flow and see what happens. Mm -hmm. 